What's up everyone? Thanks for clicking on the video. Today we're going to be checking out Demon Souls on PlayStation 5. Um, the day has finally come. We have entered the next generation. I got my Xbox Series X uh, the day before yesterday and that was awesome. That was really exciting, really nice. It was fun checking out Assassin's Creed. But now that the PS5 is here and Demon Souls is here and Miles Morales and you know, bug snacks, I guess. Uh, the next generation has started. So I'm excited, but I'm most excited to check out Demon's Souls. So I thought it'd be fun to do like a let's play. I don't know if I'm going to do a whole series on it, but I'll play as long as uh, it's fun. And if you guys like it, I'll keep doing it. So uh, yeah, I thought this would be cool. So let's go ahead and dive in. Uh, I did mess around like just in the first area to get a kind of a feel for the game, but we're going to start over. We're going to start new. Um, and let's go into the character creator. So I'm just going to make this super quick. Don't worry if you're watching on YouTube, just go ahead and, you know, skip past this part if you're not interested, but, um, let's go ahead and name this guy. Uh, let's go with beast. I usually, ooh, I usually go with beast as per my gamer tag. I'm going to go with, uh, let's see royalty. I like royalty because if you look, <clears throat> I'm going to go for like a magic build with this, uh, with a little bit, I guess, of strength and dexterity for some minor melee. Um, but yeah, I'm huge on magic in Demon Souls in particular, uh, but like Dark Souls and stuff, I'm way more of like a physical, you know, combat type of person. So we'll go with uh, royalty and starting gift. I'm not really sure. I mean, like there's, you can pick nothing. Um, you can pick some healing items, some random throwing weapons, but I think I'm going to go with the, uh, the ring because it raises item discovery and that sounds like a plan for me. So I'm going to go with that. Um, foundation, foundation, let's see, just walk. Not really that much of a difference. I'm gonna go with this one. It looks a little bit more stoic. Vocals. Let's go with E. Appearance. I'm just gonna go with presets. There was one here that I liked. All of them are really cool. Like, none of these were, I'm pretty sure, in the original Demon Souls, from what I can remember. But they do have some really cool presets if you want to just jump into the game and play like I'm doing right now. So we're going to go with, where is it? Uh, this one, I feel like this is a cool, like magic character face hairstyle, a little bit on the darker side, but this is a dark game. So I think it fits the mood pretty nicely. All right. So we're going to go with that one. Let's go ahead and finalize, jump in to demon souls. King Alant the 12th by channeling the power of souls brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world, and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But Valifax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world I gotta fix my green screen. Plight. You guys watch. That the old King Alant had roused the old one, the great beast below the Nexus, from its eternal slumber. And that a colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls lose also their minds. The mad attack the sane and chaos reigns. Valifax also spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. And the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. God, this art is so cool. Legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors lured by the possibilities braved the fissure to breach the accursed land. But 
none have returned. Pure of the Twin Fangs. Yet the silent chief. Saint Urbane. Skurva the Wanderer. The sixth Saint Astria with her night girl Vinland. And Sage Freak the Visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. That's us. Oh, has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? Yes. Let's play the journey to the Nexus. Brave soul who fears not death. I shall guide you to the fissure. The controller is going crazy with vibrations right now. So it really is amazing. It's back to slumber. very cool. Here we go. All right. We'll get through this part. Look at that ray tracing. Oh, wait. There's no ray tracing in this game. But that volumetric lighting, though, is pretty cool. What's this message say? Standard attack. All right. That soul animation is so cool. All right. We're going to keep moving forward. This is like a little tutorial area. It gets you like accustomed with how to play the game. If you're new, um, even if you're a veteran to Souls games, and you haven't played Demon Souls. This one does play a little bit differently from Dark Souls, so I suggest you just kind of check it out before you just run past all the signs. Target lock. All right, there's two of them. Use magic. Oh, look at that soul arrow. Man, these graphics really are nice. This is really impressive stuff. I like this quite a bit. All right, so. Move forward. There's another baddie. What do you got? Ah, uh, Crescent Moon Grass. Okay. Like, I almost don't want to sprint. I just want to, like, take in the game slowly and digest everything. Because it really is almost like playing it for the first time. How do you vault? There we go. This guy out real quick. No chance. Not a chance. Whoa. Almost got hit. No. Calm down. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, these load times, they're so quick. See, from the first reveal trailer, when they did that, I wasn't sure if that was just like an edit, or if it really did load that fast, but that is just so cool. There's almost no waiting time. stand a chance oh, yeah two weapon or two-handed 
I don't even know what that would be like. Let's give it a shot. Let's fight this guy with a two-handed rape. It's not meant to be a two-handed weapon. I'm not going to do it. We'll go one-handed. I wonder if I can get the backstab on him. Maybe a parry? Should we try to parry? Let's try and parry. Oh, I didn't have my sword out. <laughs> oh, man. I parried him, and then I just soul arrowed him, which doesn't really make sense. Alright, come on. There we go. Wow. Right through the head. <laughs> yeah, they definitely added some new animations, because that was not in the original game. Switch weapons. Man, if you didn't figure that out by now. Catalyst. It's all the magic. I don't... I think I only have this... Yeah, I only have this one spell. For now. Got some more Half Moon Grass. I know the boss is coming up, so I'm getting a little nervous. Unknown war oh, my first hit. There goes my no-hit run. Save all of our souls for another time. It's this way, right? Yeah, it's this way. Backstab you. And I'll backstab you. Very cool. Crescent moon grass. Got lots of grass. I might as well heal up a little bit. So if you're new to Demon Souls, um, there is no Estus flask. You just get a bunch of grass to eat in the game. Like this half moon grass, which is cool, uh, but there is a, I guess, a weight limit or a capacity limit, which is something they changed for this remaster. So you can't carry around like an infinite number. Ooh, you can't carry around like an infinite number of them. But you can definitely carry stacks of them, which is cool. So it's a little friendlier that way. You don't have to rest at a bonfire or anything like that. Getting close to the boss. I'm just going to go for a full heal, because you never know. Sometimes that little sliver really does matter. Alright, my hands are sweaty. Here we go. I'm nervous. Vanguard demon. And he hit me already. I really gotta... Ugh. That's not how I wanted this to go. <laughs> At all. But hey, it's okay. It's all good. Because we made it through. Into the Nexus. Soul of the Lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. And I really wish I beat that guy. Soul of the Lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So, so the world, world might, might be mended. mended. So cool. <laughs> oh my god, it's amazing. I love seeing this. This is the Nexus. It holds together the northern land of Boletaria. Canst not quit the Nexus, but the five Archstones will guide thee to the Outer Lands. You have died, and the Nexus has imprisoned your soul. You cannot escape the Nexus. Okay. However, by capturing demon souls, you can reclaim your corporeal body. Nexial binding. Okay, I think so. I did pre-order this game. And there are some pre-order items that I think we can pick up, but I don't know how to do it. So... Maybe we have to talk to someone? Let's see. Let's read that message. What does that message say? Welcome to the Nexus. Cool. Oh, my camera stopped. For some reason. Uh, let's deactivate it. 
And I'll probably just leave it off for the rest of this episode. And I'll try and get it back on for the next one. Okay. Talk. Well, you slipped through the fissure too, did you? You came for demon souls? Or to save this land and be remembered as a hero? <laughs> Hunting for demons? Try one of the arch stones. Now go. That is why you came, is it not? To this accursed voluntaria? Yes, that's exactly why I came. That's exactly why we're here. Mm, you knew here. Are you here for my services? The name's Baldwin. I'm just an ordinary blacksmith. It's simple. Just bring me all the souls you can. In trade, I'll give you weapons. Or forge the ones you already have. With your souls, I can eke out a living. And with my weapons, you can go on living. Not a bad deal, eh? If you haven't heard, he's an eccentric old man. Okay. He knows his trade well. If you do meet him... I'm Stockpile Thomas. When the Scuds caked my wife, but I would be worthless in battle. At the very least, I hope to lend my assistance to you brave That guy has no upper lip. It's just teeth. I would teeth. be happy to lighten your load. And look after any excess baggage. Um, let's see. Ah, uh, is this where my stuff is? In the storage box? What are these grains for? Preservation grains, phosphorine grains. Oh my gosh, look at that scythe is there. There is my stuff. Stones. Reaper scythe. Alright, let's retrieve that. Ritual blade, let's get the ritual blade. The shield. Red eye knight armor. The royalty clothes. I guess I'm gonna grab the royalty clothes. Ring of longevity. Rest assured, your goods are safe and sound with me. So, can I even wear this? I get. Oh man, I can't wear it yet. What do I need? I forget what the icons are. I think it's like vitality. And magic, or is this like less powerful, maybe? Alright. It doesn't really do anything, does it? I think I can wear it, but it's not gonna do anything really exciting for me. Wow, I guess I can wear this too. That's crazy. Now that's definitely a look. Alright, and can I use the scythe? No, I cannot. I need strength and I need, I think that's dexterity. But I do want to see how it feels. Can I use the ritual blade? I don't think I'd want to anyway, just because it's like not going to fit my build. But I do want to see how this scythe feels. This? Whoa, okay. That is really cool. I'm gonna have to figure out how to level up my guy to use this. It's a two handed weapon. It totally is. Alright. I love it. I just gotta level my guy up so he can actually use it. Maybe we can do that in the next 
lepis lepisode let's play episode uh thanks guys for tuning in this is going to be the end of let's play number one and number two should be coming up very very shortly so uh yeah take care see you soon